acclaimed wrestling god, Moose. And you pointed it out earlier, Tom. The way Moose, wow. normally so stoic to start off his matches, is absolutely incensed. He is on a different level. He is itching. He is seething to get that world championship back. I remember the headline hanging over this matchup and just earlier on tonight that Scott Demore has handpicked the next opponent for whomever is the Impact World Champion following this match for the Under Siege event one week from Saturday. And I, for one, cannot wait oh. to see who that is. It's somebody coming off a big win at Rebellion themselves. We'll find that out soon enough, but we have to find out who will be walking oh. in to Under Siege as world champion. And we'll find out that opponent by the end of the night. But Moose and Alexander, they cannot worry about that one iota. It's all about the Impact World Championship right now. And Moose is furious. Absolutely irate. You hear Moose screaming at Josh, your win was a fluke. I'm going to show you. Oh! Big uppercut by Moose, and for months, Ray, while we've been talking about Josh Alexander keeping his emotions in check, I think Moose is gonna have to do that here in this match. Yeah, Moose, it's gotta almost feel like he's got nothing to lose. He's back on that hunt, back on that chase, and he is on another level here tonight. Alexander, meanwhile, has got to have all the confidence in the world. Had his wife, Jen, and his son, Jet, by his side and at ringside at Rebellion. It really motivated him. He embraced the pressure of the moment. Oh! And it was a wonderful sight to see, but I will be remiss if I didn't say that I'm glad that Jet and Jen are not with Josh tonight because who knows what Moose would do and in his move. To retain the title kick out by Moose and Whoa. going for the ankle, going for the ankle of Moose. And Moose able to keep Alexander away. Oh. Moose saw that one coming, did not want to suffer the ankle oh. lock. Huge! Dangerous position there for Alexander. Can he get back in this? The Impact World Championship is on the line. Moose versus Alexander continues here on Access TV. Oh, and we are back in this Impact World Championship rematch from Rebellion. Moose immediately getting his, his contractual rematch after losing the title this past weekend to the new champion, Josh Alexander. Right here tonight, Moose has an opportunity to make that championship reign of Josh Alexander is simply a blip on his radar. And now Moose. You can see the intensity, the ferocity that the former champion is coming into this match with. At one point, he had tied the sixth longest Impact World title reign with Samoa Joe's run back in 2008 before losing the title at Rebellion to Alexander. He's furious. The title was Moose's identity. Oh! And if you saw all the things that Moose was willing to do to keep the championship, oh! Imagine what he'll do to get it back. Moose has been highly emotional here in this matchup. Oh, oh. And a pump kick right to the face. And now Moose, look at whoa, Moose. Whoa, 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 Look at the tenacity of Moose. A power bomb into the apron. Moose rolls back inside, resets the 10 count champion's advantage, of course, to Alexander. The title cannot change hands via count out or disqualification. Let's take one more look at this incredible. On the outside here, Moose with the power bomb to Alexander on the apron. Alexander has not moved since. Now, Moose taking his time, stalking the champion, knows that the damage has been done. I could see at one point the right hand of Josh Alexander quivering, went spine first into the hardest part of the ring. Could be some nerve damage after that power bomb. Could be a lot of things wrong with the walking weapon. The official checking on Alexander to see if he, see if he can go. Josh says yes. <laughs> now Moose controlling the head and neck of Josh Alexander. Remember, we're only a handful of days removed from Rebellion. That surgically repaired neck of Josh Alexander bashed into exposed turnbuckles multiple times. And let's not forget, both these men went through a war at Rebellion that they've got to be feeling today. 
but I want to point out, we saw, we talked about how much Moose was kind of on edge, was moving at a different pace, so fast, so furious. This is the Moose now we're used yes. to. Slow, methodical, picking his points, picking his targets. Oh, whether you like it or not, this is where Moose is at his absolute best. Reigned for six months as Impact World Champion. And again, using the majority of the five count here, has got to be careful he doesn't get disqualified. No more champion's advantage. That's right for Moose. He's got it as angry as he might be. And there we go. Looking for that hand again. You saw it. You said it's shaking. That's going to make it shake some more. Alexander refusing to back down like we saw at Rebellion, but a big forearm, Moose, keeping Alexander on the canvas. And you see Moose just absorbing those shots from Alexander, showing how much damage he's put in on the walking weapon so far. Whoever walks out of this matchup will have to face the hand-picked opponent of Scott Damore come under siege. It's a competitor who won a big match at Rebellion. That's all we've learned from Scott Damore, but that's a paw hanging over this match. I mean, that, that could, there are a number of people who scored some huge wins at Rebellion. All of them exciting if they had an opportunity at the Impact World Champion. And we are going to find out who that Challenger is before Impact Wrestling goes off the air tonight here on Access TV, but Moose focusing on the here and now. Oh, the ever defiant world champion, Josh Alexander, letting Moose know he's not done yet. Oh, right to the face. What? Whoa. Alexander did not go down. Oh! Oh, now look at Alexander! All over Moose! Shades of what we saw in Rebellion, these open hand palm strikes in the face. Oh! The journey to get to the top, now it's about staying on top for Josh Alexander. That's right, the job has just begun for the walking oh, weapon. Hold on a second. Oh! Suplex! Oh, and could we see another repeat at Rebellion? It was 10. How many did we get in the impact zone here tonight? that night. Oh, that's right. God, I lost track of counting myself. And now Moose doesn't want to revisit that nightmare. Able to send off Josh Alexander. Oh, I think about the Whoa. C4 spike. Go for the C4 spike. And switching over to the ankle lock. Moose saw it coming again, kicking, desperately trying to get out of this one. Uh, Moose using those long legs. Hold on a second. The Canadian into the sharpshooter. And what a way to retain your world championship. Moose in a bad, bad way right now. Alexander trying to control the six foot five, 300 pound frame of Moose. But you see Moose dragging himself, causing Alexander to lose his footing just a little bit, and it gets Moose to the bottom rope. I will break up the submission attempt there by Alexander. But in that time, the damage could have been done to the back of Moose. This is the challenge that Alexander wanted all along. Why he fought so hard to his initial win at Bound for Glory. Why he went through obstacle after obstacle after obstacle to get to Moose at Rebellion this past weekend. And one more time. Could be looking to put this one away right here. Trying to set up the C4 spike. And Moose going to back off Alexander into the corner. Response. Oh, straps down, intensity up. And now Alexander and Moose exchanging forearm blows here in the middle of the ring. Alexander and Moose, a slugfest for the Impact World Championship. The two top stars, top professional wrestlers in this company right now.
throwing everything they got at their opponent. Who wavers first? Oh. Wow, look at Moose. This seems to have only fired up Moose. And now Moose laying into the new champion. And if he wasn't fired up before, I'd hate to see him when he is. Oh. My God, what a counter hit from Alexander. Oh, the right court. oh and a headbutt by Moose. Might have caught a little bit of the headgear there, but Moose is up. Alexander ankle lock. Beautiful step float over right into the ankle lock. And once again, Moose finding himself in a bad, bad way. Middle of the ring. Moose trying to maneuver himself. Oh, into the turnbuckle goes Alexander. And once more up and oh. down. You're an ugly dead center of the ring. Moose has bought himself just a little bit of time, a little bit of room to breathe here. All right, now Moose, right back on top of the champion, Alexander. But you see, Tom, he's walking a little gingerly there. The effects from that ankle lock from Josh Alexander still being felt by Moose. And listen, Alexander's taking a beating here in this matchup. You could call it that, you could call it dropping his weight there to get away from Moose, but Moose is going for a power bomb. It looks like a oh. bomb into the top turnbuckle. Remember the power bomb earlier on in the matchup into the apron. If there's one saving grace, it's that the turnbuckle pads were covered this time, but Moose now looking to line things up. And Moose, it looked like he was thinking about the spear. Did he second guess himself? That he's looking ever confident. You saw him marking the spine of Josh Alexander, but Josh oh. looking out of it beautiful. Let's go for another power bomb. Moose trying to fight him. Power bomb by Alexander. And now Alexander stand on top of Moose. Rolling him right into the C4 spike. Alexander gets all of it. Alexander turns away. Gentlemen, here is your winner and still Impact World Champion, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. Moose came into this contest with one goal, to make sure that the title reign of Josh Alexander was nothing but a blip, a fluke. But it is the walking weapon who proves why he stands at the mountaintop of Impact Wrestling. Alexander can look forward. Oh, my God. <laughs> we knew by the end of the night we would be shown who Scott Demore's hand-picked opponent for Alexander would be for Under Siege. And of all the people Josh Alexander has fought in the last several months. Yes! Oh, I don't know if he's ever faced someone quite like Ishii.